Welcome back to Adventures with Rosie. Now today I'm going to complete the final piece in our security puzzle in our uh, brand new caravan here. And I'm going to install the White Eye GPS tracker. So uh, if this caravan ever gets stolen, we can track it wherever it goes. Alright, so the White Eye GPS system. Um, so if you missed the last video, I think it might have been a couple of videos ago now, we installed the White Eye anti-theft system in this caravan. So that's the full uh, white eye immobilizer. So if your caravan gets you know, towed while it's armed, the brakes lock up. We've got a sensor on our door now, which sets off our alarm. We've got an internal motion sensor that'll also set off the alarm, so protecting us up inside as, as well as the actual van. On top of that, I've also got a hitch lock on the caravan, padlocks on the gas bottles, um, locks through spare wheels. So hopefully we're covered. Um, but we did sort of talk about at the end of the last video, the kind of one I guess um, flaw in the whole system and that is me or my wife or uh, kids forgetting to alarm the caravan right uh, there's no point having all this fancy tech in the caravan if you forget to turn it on if you forget to arm it so uh, White Eye kindly sent me their GPS unit as well to review um, so I guess this is kind of the answer to that right if I forget to arm the caravan put the hitch lock on I leave it somewhere with an open gate and someone steals it I'll be able to track it with this little unit here um, so yeah kind of the final piece of the security puzzle and uh, I'll sleep a bit better at night uh, knowing I've got this in the caravan keeping a track of where it is um, so white I partnered with a company called quick track that's who provides their GPS tracking it looks like it's a 4g 3g actually the little booklet um, tells you all the different specifications the bands and all that sort of thing um, but yeah a little tiny little unit plug and play it's got three plugs on it I believe you only use two for the white eye unit but this just plugs into that anti-theft system that's already installed in here it's already powered on so you register it plug it in um, this is a subscription based service so an annual subscription um, and there are two different subscriptions which we'll get into in a sec but as well as tracking your caravan there's a couple of other cool features um, one of those is alerts so the app on your mobile phone uh, if someone trips the alarm the door alarm or the try to steal your caravan even if they don't successfully steal it if they just trip the alarm you'll get an alert well, from this to this <laughs> on your phone um, you also get an alert if this uh, has a low voltage so if the battery drops between I think it was 11.5 volts this will send off an alert it must have a little internal battery and yeah pings off an alert to let you know that maybe your battery is dying in your caravan or maybe someone's tampering with it um, so yeah, a couple of cool little alerts there. So before we register it, um, which I believe you just do online, I haven't read the little book. Um, I should say, there's not a lot in the box, um, so we won't do a what's in the box, little box there. It's just the GPS unit and an instruction book, which I haven't read. <laughs> um, so yeah, so in terms of the um, subscription, the annual subscription, there are two types. Um, so depending on your budget and what sort of features you want, there is the white eye track, so that is their kind of primo subscription uh, that does real-time updates 24 7 um, instant updates to the the GPS app that uh, subscription is $228 a year and that's Australian dollars as well because white is an Australian company so depending on your conversion rate you know um, New Zealand that might be $250 a year um, I mean it's pretty good peace of mind especially for what you pay for a brand new caravan um, you know it's kind of a drop in the bucket compared to what you've paid for your caravan um, but if you are on a slightly lower budget or maybe you don't use uh, your caravan all that often maybe it's parked in storage for six months of the year nine months of the year use it in holidays there is the white IQ protect um, so that's basically a location on demand system um, so what the little GPS unit does is every 18 hours it phones home and it uh, gives an update it says here I am um, but on top of that you also get uh, credits every year so um, you get X amount of credits I think it's 10 or 20 credits um, when you sign up on, on the, the cheaper plan and if you want to request the location of your um, caravan you can do that but you use a credit so it will phone home and tell you where it is every 18 hours um, but if you want to request on top of that, uh, that uses one of your credits and also one of those alerts uses one of your credits. Um, now that plan is $49 a year. So it's a quarter of the cost of the main plan, but you don't get that real time tracking. 
the Q Protect plan, uh, from what I can gather, is is good. Like I said, for people that uh, might have their caravan in storage and aren't really worried about getting real time updates. Now, one cool thing that the alerts can do as well is tell you if your caravan is moved out of a certain location, or what they call a geofence. So, if this caravan sits in my driveway for nine months of the year, I can basically have a, a geographic fence around that. If it gets moved out of that fence, I get an alert. Say you're going overseas, you leave your caravan in your friend's shed, you might want to geofence it in, uh, so that if it gets stolen, you get an alert. So it's kind of a cool feature. Um, I'm probably going to go for the Q-Protect uh, plan because I'm keen to test that credit system out and the 18 um, hour phone home just to see how the, the cheaper plan looks and I might move into the real time tracking. If you were living full time in, in your caravan um, or motorhome, then the full time tracking would be pretty ideal, I'd say. Um, I did read as well on top of that that you, if your caravan gets stolen and you are talking to the police, um, you can get real-time tracking enabled. So Waitai will enable real-time tracking. They'll work with the police to track your caravan in real time. So yeah, if it does get stolen, that you know they are going to track your caravan. So let's jump into the computer and uh, register this, and then we'll plug it in. Then we'll set up the app. All right, so registration was pretty simple. Um, I just basically went to the Waito website, clicked on the GPS activation. It asked me for my IMEI number, which is the number on the back of the GPS unit. I typed that in. Um, it did then ask, is the unit plugged in or not? And I selected no, and it gave a warning. And the warning basically said that, please plug your GPS unit in within three days of activating it because Obviously, the servers have to talk to this thing, right? To, they have to see that it's online to activate it. So you've got three days to plug it in, plenty of time. So if you didn't have the anti-theft system installed just yet, I would wait till you've got it installed, plug this in, and then register it. I suppose you could actually take a photo of the IMEI number on your phone and then have that plugged in and register it or something like that. Um, yeah, and then it asked me which plan I wanted to choose, asked me some details of making the model of the caravan, um, my address and I paid on the credit card and I got an email straight away saying it's activated so um, I'm gonna plug this in now and I'm not gonna show you because it's a top secret location I know in our last caravan some of you found it quite amusing that Harvey told everyone where our GPS tracker was installed on a live stream to about a hundred of you and then everyone else that watched after that so uh, this is going in a top secret location um, right next to the anti-theft system. Um, and then I think we'll fire up the app and uh, yeah, have a look, see how the app looks, uh, screen record on my phone and see if we can track this caravan. All right, so it's all installed in its top secret location. I'm not gonna tell Harvey this time where I've installed it. I'm sure he's gonna pester me and ask me, but uh, he's just gonna tell all of you guys. So it's installed. Um, I downloaded the Waitai GPS app from the app store. Um, now there is a website as well you can go to, so if you don't have a smartphone, uh, but you do have a laptop or an iPad, or well, I suppose you get the app on the iPad, but yeah, there is a website you can as well. So we'll go into the Waitai GPS app. Now when I created the account and registered, um, <laughs> the app shows my address. Um, so um, that might be blurred out for you. I didn't think of that, I'm parked in the driveway. So uh, now you all know where I live, if I didn't blur it properly. Um, what am I saying? Ah, yeah, a login. So when I first created the account, when I registered the device and chose what plan I wanted, it sent me an email with my account username and password. It looked like the password is generic um, and just something that's auto-generated. So I would change that in the app um, to something you're gonna remember, something a bit more secure. Uh, mine was only six digits long, so I've changed that. But yeah, basically we can come into the app, we can tap on the caravan, rosy caravan. We can show the position. Oh, there you go. Lake Topo, see where it is. It's pretty cool. Um, well, it looks like we can see the exact position. We can show the alarm settings of the caravan. Um, so you can actually turn these on or off and you can also have email notifications set up. So maybe I want to know when the white eye alarm goes off. I'll select white eye alarm. Um, I did mention before that you can get alerts when the um, battery 
goes below a certain voltage, you can also get alerts when the battery disconnects. So um, say someone's stealing your caravan, they might snip your battery or, or um, isolate your battery and the little YTA unit has a uh, must GPS must have a battery in it. That's going to send you an alert. So we can go push notifications for uh, Let's go. Yeah, might as well leave them all on right makes sense. Like give me all the alerts got my contact email down there um, Now that YTI alarm is if your alarm runs longer than 10 seconds. So if you Forget to disarm your caravan and you open the door and set the alarm off as long as you disarm it within 10 seconds You're not going to get a notification so the notifications are more, um, I guess the purpose of them is for people that are breaking into your caravan. So yeah, it gives you, it won't sort of waste uh, alerts if you just forget to um, turn it off, which I keep doing actually. <laughs> I keep forgetting to disarm it and I come along and open the door and set it off. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. You can turn on the geo-locking as well and set an area. Um, and yeah, you can have multiple devices here. It looks like, um, I looked at their demo on the app and they say you need to use, use these for jet skis and all sorts of things so um pretty cool um so yeah that's the app um got a user guide there reports alarm set up the geofence edit your profile if you like uh, you can sign out oh there you go and you just sign back in so like i said powered by quick track there and got a forgot your password sort of thing so pretty cool little system um yeah, so far the white eye stuff's been really good. Um, the alarm I've really enjoyed and it's it, it works really well. Um, it's really great sort of peace of mind. I've had no trouble arming it, disarming it. And this GPS is just like another level, I guess, on top of that, right, of just peace of mind. It's plugged in. I'm probably never going to touch it again. I'm probably going to forget it's on. Um, but when it goes, something goes wrong with the caravan, you know, I will hopefully never get stolen. But if it does... I'll be able to track it. One thing I forgot to show you on the app if I just log back in is uh, there is um, when I tap on the caravan down the bottom there's a button that says report theft. I'm not going to push it. Um, I did push it. So that's right. So this is what I read on the email. So if I press create report that will create an incident report number which is what I would give to the police. And then the police would be able to track this caravan in real time using that incident report number. So if it ever went missing, I'd come into the app, create report, boom, away you go. As well as probably tracking it on the app, telling the police exactly where my new caravan is. So, um, yeah, pretty cool system. Thanks again to Whiteside for sending uh, all this cool kit out to me. Um, I feel good. I feel good about the security of this caravan now. Uh, good products. Kevin uh, at uh, Whiteside New Zealand, he's awesome. Um, and yeah really knowledgeable uh they seem to be kind of experts in this caravan security space so um yeah really happy with the technology uh, i'll pop their details down the bottom if you want to check them out more we've also got the wireless brake controller installed which we talked about in the last video we've been away on two or three trips now with that brake controller and i actually was talking to kevin the other day on the phone and i was kind of marveling to him about how smooth that thing is i'm really surprised how smooth the braking is around town it doesn't it, the way when you brake, you, you're basically not just getting jerked around it. I can't kind of explain it, but the the brake controllers I've used in the past, I can definitely feel the caravan coming on and off the brakes um, a lot more than I can with the the white eye. So cool system, definitely can vouch for them. Um, thanks again for sending me out all this cool tech. Um, stay tuned. We've got plenty more videos coming up. Uh, we've got a big South Island trip planned i'm um, getting the caravan all prepped up for that christmas obviously obviously just around the corner as well we're going away for christmas in the caravan so looking forward to that and we're probably going to do a live stream as well um, for christmas just to say hi to everyone and thanks for your support over the last year um, if you have any questions fire them away down below and i will see you in the next video